Muy bien, pues estamos aquí con Casabian, una banda del Reino Unido que visita México por primera vez. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Um, I know you've probably been asked this a million times, but what's with the name Casabian? Uh, Casabian, it comes from a. It's just a, it's just a good name. It, you know, Charles Manson murders. Uh, what happened in the late '60s? You know, and the getaway driver's called Linda Casabian. So it just sounded good, so we used it. You know. It, We could have been called Flower, you know, or you know, Wooden Table or something, but we, we're not. We're just called Sabian. So it's just a good name. Man. It's nothing. We're not. We're not a cult band or anything, you know. So <laughs> you have a couple of songs that are featured in some video games. Are you video game fans, or is it just a way of promoting music? I, I just think it's cool, man. You know, it's just cool. It's good. What's wrong with it? You know, you're promoting yourself, and they're promoting their game. So yeah, I think it's not wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. What about your new album? Are you working on a new album while you tour? Uh, we're finished. We've done yeah. it. We've done it. Well, I mean, like it's done its massive mix and it's ready to come out in England uh, after summer. So yeah, it's it's great, man. It's good. And there was going to be a collaboration with um, the Gallagher brothers. Yeah, I mean, did it happen? <laughs> no, I mean we're just good friends with them. So you know, we, we were talking about doing a B-side with them. You know, when we're on tour with them, we're off a rock when we done about it. But like. Uh, We might, we might do a song of them one day, a cover, for, for, for a laugh, you know. We're, we're good friends with them, man, you know, they're good to us, you know, so we get on well. I know, you, you went on tour with them and, um, you know, they are big admirers of your work. Um, how does it feel to have Oasis as your friend? You know, they, they're not very friendly with new bands um, and they really like you, so how does it feel and why is this, you know, happening? I just, no, I just... Just feel that like no, you know we're real. You know we're really true people, and what you get is, you know, what you see is what you get. And like, we just, we just kind of get on with them. You know, it's just a connection we got with them. So, you know, like they, you know, they're lovely people. They're really nice guys. Okay, so um, our show is called Indie. Um, how would you define indie music? Indie music's dead. Like indie music died in 1997, man. You know what I mean? No, indie, it's disco, it's, it's disco indie kids, isn't it? You know, it's kids that. I don't, I don't, is indie a real word? You know, is it right? Is it, you know, I don't understand what it really means, but you know, I'm sure they can answer that. <laughs> it's, it's the, it doesn't, it doesn't mean your show. Your show's not dead. It's just the music's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. I know. I understand. Sorry, you know, it's totally <laughs> fucked up. <yeah. laughs> okay. Well, thank you, guys. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Estamos en Indie, vamos ahora a entrevistar a Art Brut, una de las bandas que se presenta el día de hoy en el festival Nokia Trends. Hi, so I have to ask this, Art Brut, that's the name of the band, is it, is it hard to keep up with that name? Uh, it's, no, it's outside right, isn't it? It's sort of people that can't really do art and non-artists. It's easy, you just don't try very hard, <laughs> it's fine. How is your music outside of the boundaries? It's my favorite sort of art, Art Brut. So when we first started playing, it was really hard for us to get gigs and stuff, because I don't really sing. I'm trying my best, <laughs> but it comes out like I'm shouting. We're all in different directions, it's a bit of a mess. So this album, do you see it as a whole piece or is it like a compilation of the, all of the singles that you released before? Well, I didn't, um, so when I came out in Germany, people started saying it was a concept album and they looked into it and they're saying how I'm singing about rock and roll and culture and stuff, like as a whole ideal. But I wasn't really. I just I think it's because I wrote a lot of the songs on the same day. And I must be having the I must be having the same sort of thoughts. But I just try and be conversational, you know, I want it to sound like we're having a chat and so on. So and those are the things I'm interested in, rock and roll and culture and ex-girlfriends and things like that. So that's probably why it comes across like a bit of a concept. But it's not, it's just what things I'm interested in, so that's what I ended up writing about. I wrote like yeah, loads of them on the same day. <laughs> so that's probably why. Okay, so I hear you are obsessed with top of the pops. Again. <laughs> yeah, 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 I am. Um, do you? Do you the pops in Mexico. Um, I think they do show it in some cable channel. Oh. So, do you see yourself as a band that you know would be on top of the pops? How amazing would it be? I'd love to be on top of the pops. It felt like we won something. <laughs> like, yeah, like, some bands like say they don't want to play top of the pops and refuse to play. I, I actually don't understand what they're talking about. They're insane. Um, so it seems like you have a lot of fun. How do you feel about music and politics? Music and politics. 
um, that's okay. I, mean, I like things like Billy Bragg and stuff, but I mean, I don't feel that I'm educated enough to write about politics in my music. I don't think I'm, I have enough of an opinion to tell people what to do, you know? Um, so how's your relationship with the internet? Has it helped you a lot with your career? <laughs> with, the, with the internet, it's okay. But it helps, it helps us with the career a lot. I don't really understand it, but... Um, yeah, it's done really well. The first time we went to America, um, the album wasn't out there or anything. We got there and everyone already knew the words and it was very confusing. It was like, a bit of the power of the internet, isn't it? And everyone, like, it's weird because everyone like, knew the stuff that they did on stage. Like, you've seen Gilbert Cannon go, seen a naked twice. Well, crowd doing that. It's like, what are you, how have you got the record? <laughs> so, but yeah, but it's, it's amazing, that kind of thing. And MySpace is really useful as well. Any advice for all the indie bands that are out there in Mexico? Don't try and play your instrument that well. <laughs> Concentrate more on writing songs and running around and having fun. And really don't take it too seriously. If you start going around, it's all about the music. Have, have fun. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Si quieres ver más, pide Exa TV a tu sistema de cable.